Athens, 495 BCE, Agariste. The child within me moves as if he cannot wait to be in this world. I must confess, I feel the same. I dreamed last night, the most vivid of dreams, that my child, my son, was a lion. I know in my heart that this child is a boy without a doubt. I know also that he is blessed by the gods. Why else would they send such visions to me? He will be the greatest of us. And that is saying something. My family expelled the Pisistratids and helped all of Attica to heal after their devastation and tyranny. His father is renowned for his own generalship and is a good and just man. There can be no doubt in my heart that I carry within me the future of Athens. I will not doubt the god's gift of this dream, nor of this child. I shall make dedications to the goddess, a dedication to Zeus, Catesios, Apollo, Aegeus, and Hestia are in order as well. I shall not shirk my duties as a Greek woman. The gods will be cared for in this house as we have been cared for. This child shall be the greatest of this family. All who come from him shall be just and strong. This I pray. Athens, 484 BCE, Pericles. Father was voted out today by his enemies, Themistocles included. We must pack and leave before the sun sets today. Mother has said that whatever we cannot take today, the servants will get in the coming weeks. I am not worried. Father says the will of the people is like the sea, ever flowing in and out. He says we shall return to Athens, and then we shall never be forced out again. But he says we must do so in the correct manner, whatever that may mean. For now, he says I should focus on my studies, if I wish to be the man that gods plan me to be. Mother's dream has set me upon a path the gods deemed for me before my own birth. Sometimes I feel as if I cannot ever live up to these expectations. Is it not enough to be of this family? Do we not have enough to be getting on with without the pressure of even more greatness? I have been told to stop questioning things and finish preparing for our departure. Father assures me that this is not to last, our exile, but I cannot help but to wonder what will bring us back. 480 BCE, Agariste. These four years have been peaceful in our country home. I have watched my lion-hearted son grow into a just young man. He is a quick learner and has a great love and appreciation for the musics and writings of Greece. Greater still is his sharp mind when it comes to strategy and logistics. His is a mind that is capable of seeing those around him in a way few can. He will be a great strategos someday. His father was called back to Athens due to his own grand abilities to lead. I gave dedications to the gods to ensure his safety in the wars to come. The Persians have returned.